welcome back to The Crochet Crown. I'm your host, Mikey. Today, I'm gonna to teach you how to stiffen up your crochet using a product that I found at Walmart called the Beacon Stiffen Stuff. And this will convert your just regular doily work into really amazing crochet bowls. So if you're thinking outside of the box and you want to do something even more, you can do like snowflakes, you can do angels, uh, Christmas ornaments, decorations. And so basically it will stiffen up your work so that you can actually form shapes in order for the material to hold onto itself. So very quickly what you're gonna need is the Beacon Stiffen Stuff. You can find this at Walmart, it's about $10. You're gonna need a bowl that will fit your doily and then you're gonna just need a doily project or snowflake or whatever you wanna do in order to stiffen up your crochet. To get started, all I wanna just do is just wet it down a little bit. I'm just gonna throw it over. Not a lot. I find with the crochet doily stuff that, that it's very dry and that it will not take the shape of the bowl. So I've just wet it down a little bit so that it can hold its shape while sitting on top of the bowl. It doesn't say to wet it, but that's what I've done for myself. So here you can see this one is the damp one now. This one is the dry. You can just see the way that it's operating, that this is more prone to sit properly. You just need a bowl, and I picked my bowl that was going to fit these doilies. And basically, if it was dry, you see how it's just kind of sitting there on there sloppily? If it's a little damp, when it sits down, it actually will form. And I just want to really carefully look for the edges of where this is all going to take place. And I'm going to just kind of just push it down. Now, I want to um, adjust this after I've sprayed it. So we just grab our stiffened stuff, and we just spray about six inches away. Now, if you had another kind of form, they recommended that you put plastic over top of your form to prevent your item from sticking to uh, whatever the form that you're using. And you'll notice that it appears to be a, a, like a white kind of spray. And I'm kind of using my hands just to kind of feel around. You do want it to have quite a generous amount of stiffened stuff on there. What else you can do is that you can just pour this into the base there of just a container that you consider is old. You can also just take it off and then dip it as well. And really wet. Now this will make it super, 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 super stiff. So now that it's on the form, you can actually just use and just kind of curl up any kind of edging that you want to do. This is your last chance to uh, shape in it before it's going to get stiff. And you have to set this for about an hour. And if you feel that it's not stiff enough by the end of it, you can just reapply the liquid again and uh, it'll make it even harder. So it depends on how much you spray it on the first time on how stiff it will get in order to form the shape that you're looking for. And again, make sure you do double check and make sure that it's all gonna come out amazing after you're done. So girls, if you're the ultimate diva and you do not wanna wait that hour or so for this to dry, you can always make it harder by grabbing your blower in order to make it so no, I'm just kidding. Go grab out your hair blower and blow about six inches away from the surface of this thing and you can speed up the process to make this ultra stiff really quick. Well, today is day two and I was doing this project live on camera yesterday and now it is time to get this product off the bowl. Now, I didn't put any plastic like I recommended that you should put over the form, so I just did it right on top of the bowl. So therefore, this was actually kind of sticking to the bowl and uh, all we just did to get it off is that we just did a slight twist like this and it cracked all of the, the stickiness to the bowl and then basically I just turned it upside down and voila you have your new crochet doily bowl. Now when I'm looking at this thing you know exactly what I told you before is that if you had any imperfections in the bowl uh, before it went sticky then it's going to be able to show but I really liked how simple this looks. Um, you can see it's got it can bend like that but it will hold its shape so I wouldn't put anything in this bowl that was like a lot of weight um, very nice decorations and then we had our second one of course like this and I already un unsticked it <laughs> and uh, you can see it's really really super cute so it's a great way to stiff up your crochet you still have all the fabulous tendencies of the doily so even if you just wanted to leave it empty and just put it on top of your coffee table it's actually kind of a great idea too. Until next time I'm Mikey from the Crochet Crowd.